What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Chromebook's webcam by using a standard USB webcam. Laptops in general are notorious for having low quality webcams. Luckily, there is a webcam standard called UVC that most adhere to. Chrome OS also supports the standard, so it's easy to upgrade the camera on your Chromebook with a UVC webcam. To test this out, I'll be using my Logitech webcam and also this mirrorless webcam, the Sony ZV-E10. This camera can act like a UVC webcam to give me even better image quality. With the Logitech webcam or any other standard UVC webcam, all I have to do is plug the camera into a free USB port and it's ready to use. But with the ZV-E10 mirrorless camera, I have to first enable USB streaming on it. Now, not all mirrorless or DSLR cameras will support this feature, so consult with your camera's manufacturer to see if your camera supports the UVC standard. But there is a way of using other cameras HDMI out to accomplish the same thing, but you'll need to purchase another adapter. I do plan on creating a future video regarding this method, so keep an eye out for it. To enable USB streaming on the ZV-E10, first, make sure the camera is not connected to the Chromebook. Then hit the menu button on your camera, move to the second tab. On the second tab, make sure you're on page one of that tab. Move down to USB streaming and select it. Now take your USB cable and use it to connect your camera to the Chromebook. Depending on your Chromebook, you either need a USB-C to USB-C cable or a USB-C to USB-A cable. My Chromebook has both, so I can use either. Let's now test the cameras. I have both the Logitech camera and the mirrorless camera plugged into my Chromebook. Let's start the testing with Chrome OS's camera app, so open it up. By default, it will use the Chromebook's built-in camera. To switch to another camera, hit this camera switch button. This is the view from the ZV-E10. I'll change the aperture on my camera to change the exposure. If I hit the camera switch button again, then I get the Logitech camera. I can now start either taking pictures with the camera app or record videos. I'll also test the camera connection with webcamtest.com. I have the options to select the camera with this dropdown. The UVC camera option represents the Logitech camera and I also see the ZV-E10. I'll select UVC camera to test the Logitech cam. Then hit test my cam button and I see the Logitech's camera. I'll refresh the page, and this time I'll select the ZV-E10. And I see its view. Here's a test with zoom on Chrome OS. To switch cameras, click on this arrow next to the camera icon. I'll select the Logitech camera, Then select the ZV-E10. With zoom, you can also select the microphone that's being used. To do that, click on the arrow next to the microphone icon and select your preferred microphone. Finally, I'll show you how to set up Google Meet. In a meeting, click on the three dot menu, settings. On the audio category, click on the microphone dropdown and select the ZV-E10. Then choose the video category. And for the camera dropdown, also select the ZV-E10. Close the settings and you're set. If I wanted to use the Logitech camera, I would just go through the same process again. To do the same on other video conferencing programs, just find a setting that lets you change the camera and microphone options. Each program will have its own unique way of getting to those options. So that's how you upgrade your Chromebook's webcam. The image and audio quality you get will all depend on the camera you use. Also, consult with the camera's manufacturer to see if it supports the UVC standard. I tried this with an Elgato face cam, but it did not work. Also, I tried some Android apps, and while it seems that apps will detect the other cameras, switching will either not work or will crash the app. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like, and if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.